Hey crew, so this is probably the number one question I get in all of my videos and that's how do I get the best armor and stat rolls so I can have double 100 stats like 100 resilience and 100 discipline and even push that further to triple 100 stats to help out whatever PvE builds we're making or just in general to get those abilities back quicker. So god roll armor and acquiring that armor is so so much easier than you might think and we can actually force destiny to give us at least one stat we want and then on top of that we can get a two out of three chance to get a second stat that we would want so it makes achieving those double or triple 100 stats so so much easier and I wish I knew about this a long time ago myself so I hope sharing this can help some of you out. We also have a guaranteed way to get that armor very very easily by just actively playing whatever you want and I will show you that in this video so make sure to pay attention if you're a newer player or a seasoned vet you might still get something out of this. You have six different stats in Destiny 2 mobility, resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, and strength. Now for builds in general you have the bottom three stats which are discipline, intellect, and strength. Well we don't want intellect because your super regen is tied to how how much damage you do to enemies so the intellect stat is pretty useless because in most content you're always doing damage to enemies and that overrides any benefit something like 100 intellect would be giving you so that takes intellect off the table and we don't want it then there is strength and we can loop our melee abilities very easily in destiny 2 and in general there are ways to get it back just like picking up your throwing hammer so strength isn't worth building into in my personal opinion so we can lump that in with intellect now there might be a few builds that you use strength in but those are just very specific builds now that means we have four stats left mobility resilience recovery and discipline now discipline is something we always want and that is in the bottom three stats and our six stats in total are grouped into two sections you have the top half and the bottom half so the top three stats which is mobility resilience and recovery and the bottom three which is discipline intellect and strength when you get a high spike in armor in the top three your second high spike will be in the bottom three and vice versa if you get a high spike in the bottom three like let's say discipline for example it will force the second high stat drop or spike to be in the top three, so either mobility, resilience, and recovery. So let's force Destiny to give us the spikes we want and the stats we want. Since we don't want strength or intellect, we throw on the discipline ghost mod and make sure our armor drops with high discipline, since that is the stat we want for pretty much every build like 90% of the time. Now since we force the high stat in the bottom three, we will get a high stat in the top three, and we definitely want resilience, right, for that 40% damage reduction, and we want recovery to get in and out of fights quicker and then the warlock's rift ability is tied to recovery and the titan's barricade is tied to resilience so we want both of those on each class so since we're getting that high spike in discipline we're giving ourselves a two out of three chance to get that second stat we want because we already got the first stat which is discipline thanks to the ghost mod so hopefully we get the resilience and recovery that we want on the titan and the warlock now on hunter you would still want mobility for that dodge ability cooldown so hunter you'll take any of the top three stats in general so let's test it out and show exactly how we're going to make this happen so we need two things. First, we need the Umbral Engrams, which just drop randomly while playing, which is awesome. And then whatever currency you're using to focus, you could focus in the Helm at the War Table, the Crown of Sorrow, and probably this season's vendor, Astral Seas, which I haven't tested personally yet. I'm gonna focus at the War Table since I have that currency and it's probably the fastest farm in the game still. Okay, so I'm on my Warlock here and we have a Discipline Armor mod in the Ghost. So now we can ensure that we get a high drop in Discipline. And since Discipline's in the bottom three, we should be getting one in these top three, and we want Resilience and Recovery on our Warlock. I made space on my character so I can get the armor, and I have just random Umbral Engrams. Since I've been playing the game, they just randomly drop. And I have Risen Umbral Energy. That's from doing PsyOps Battlegrounds. Just run the Battlegrounds, get the energy, you're good to go. Come over here to the War Table. I guess I have to grab this again. Oh man. Okay, so you can focus any of the armor pieces. Of course, you don't want to focus a bond because a bond is not going to have what you want, right? It doesn't have stats on it. So you want to do the four armor pieces. We'll just do one of each since we have eight. Helmet arms, chest, boots, and then another helmet, another arms, chest and boots so we did one two of each right and let's just see what the rolls we got so we should have a higher spike in discipline and then we should have a high spike in one of these three so on our warlock here the first one 23 discipline 16 recovery and we got 12 mobility there if that mobility was in resilience that would have been an amazing piece of armor right because then you masterwork it 25 discipline uh, 18 recovery and if that mobility was down resilience there if we had 12 resilience that'd be up to 14 without a mod 
Like that would have been a good piece of gear on my Warlock if the mobility was in Resilience. It's still good on its own and it might be better than a lot of what other people have, but for me, I just want three different stats, right? Same thing here, we got mobility again, 27 discipline, 16 recovery. It's actually a little bit better. This one was 23 and 16, this one's 27 and 16. So better piece there, again, I would want that mobility and resilience, that sucks. Let's check out the gauntlets. 24 resilience, 24 discipline. Pretty good. And then, okay, here's, here, this is what we're looking for right here. 26 discipline, 21 recovery, 10 resilience. Let's masterwork this because I can. And just to show you guys the possibilities of these rolls. Fully masterwork it up and then let's throw, hmm, you know what, let's just do discipline. Cause you know, I love grenades, right? 38, 23, 12. That's the kind of rolls you're looking for. It doesn't get much better than that. We only have four in every other slot. That's crazy guys. That's a good piece of gear. Let's check out the two chess pieces. 20 discipline, 16, 12, and we actually got 12 intellect. Man, if that intellect was somewhere else, that would've been really good. So what was this piece? Yeah, that was way higher, but still that's a good chess piece. I mean, 20, 16 and 12 in the three stats you want. So still pretty good. I think I have a little bit better right now. Actually, this is the only other one that's competing. Oh, this one competes too. So 38, 15, 16. So yeah, the, the piece I have on is a little bit better. Let's check this one. Oh, we got mobility. But see, like, if this was on a hunter, right, that mobility, resilience, discipline would be amazing. Same thing with the helmets. Mobility, recovery, discipline. Mobility, recovery, discipline. But I just don't want mobility on the warlock. But this chest piece, decent chest piece. I'm going to actually hang on to that. We're going to delete this because I'm going to get rid of it. And we're going to delete this one. Yeah, let's delete that one. And I'm deleting both of these because I don't want mobility on my Warlock. Now let's check out the boots. So I have some pretty good boots already. Same thing, we're gonna try to get better. Ah, oh, we got mobility again. This one, mm, a little bit better, but still too high in mobility and too high in strength. But you see how we got the discipline spiked on every single piece and then we got the spike up top. So really, this is the piece you know, you're looking for. That's the type of piece you want. Same thing with this. Those are the pieces you're looking for in this type of armor. I hope you all found this video helpful and enjoyed it and maybe got something new that you might not have known before. And I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.